In this tutorial, we will learn how to bend any object using geometry nodes in Blender. This is very easy to use, just a single node can do everything for you. If you have ever used the simple deform modifier, you know that the bending operation often becomes challenging. We know how to solve this, but bending with simple deform modifier is never very simple. So we have come up with this geometry node for bending, which is really simple and also powerful. Here, you can easily change the bending axis and get the bending in some other direction, like this. You can use it anywhere in your project, so instead of the text, let us take another object, maybe this cylinder. We can bend it using the same node setup. And as you can see here, we don't need an empty or another guiding object for the bending. We'll discuss in this tutorial how to do this, so let us start with a blank new file. Instead of this default cube, we'll first apply our bending nodes on a plane. But before we do anything, we need to ensure that there are enough number of subdivisions for this plane. So let us go to the edit mode. While all the vertices are selected, right click here and select this subdivide option. Then open this operator box and we can change the number of subdivisions to say 32. You can subdivide the plane in other methods as well, like using the subdivide modifier or even through geometry nodes that we'll see later. We need to now open the geometry nodes in this editor. If you are new to geometry nodes, you can check our foundation level tutorial on this, the link is given below. Let us create a new node tree. By default, we will get these two nodes. Now we will go to the add menu. Then, from the sub menu called group, we'll bring a node called bend geometry, and it is to be placed between these two nodes. You may not be able to find this bend node in your version of Blender. We will see how to create this node group, but let us first verify its functionality or how it works. Let's say we want to bend this plane around the y-axis. So we need to simply change this y-rotation angle and it will bend around the y-axis. It is so simple and easy. And along with this, we can also rotate it around another axis simultaneously, like we are rotating it around the z-axis. So multiple bend is also possible, but for best results, try to use it for only one axis at a time, and chain multiple such bend nodes if required. Sometimes we need to use this axis correction. Let's say we want to bend this plane now around the x-axis. So if you change the x-rotation angle, you'll see that the bending is not really correct. But if you turn on this axis correction, the bending will automatically take the correct form. Now we can change this angle to bend it, either in the positive territory, or in the negative direction. Very useful and handy. Let us verify it with another object. So go to the add menu and add a cylinder. We will reduce the radius of the cylinder to say 0.2. We can also increase its height to turn it into a rod, and rotate it by 90 degrees to make it horizontal. But we should always remember to apply any such rotation transforms before we work with the geometry nodes for bending. Now we'll go to the add menu, and like before, from the group nodes, we need to add a bend geometry node, and place it between the input and the output. But it won't work, because we are yet to create subdivisions along its length. We can create the subdivisions, by adding a subdivision node here. So let us go to the add menu, and from the mesh group, we will add a subdivide node, after the group input. Then change the subdivision level to 5. If we want to bend it around the y-axis, we need to simply change the y-rotation angle, like this. And let's say, instead of this, if we try to bend it around the z-axis, it will look incorrect and terribly wrong. But if we enable the axis correction, it will take a far better form. So we understood how this node works, let us now see what is under the hood. It took almost one complete week for me, to create these nodes. So we can see three sections here, corresponding to bending around the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. You have to create the same node setup as you see here. Then from the node menu, you can convert it into a node group using this make group option. It will then appear under the add menu, as we just saw. These three sections are very similar, so we can just focus on any one of them. Let's take this bending around the x-axis. It starts with a translate center node, with this kind of node setup. Then, for the rest of the bending, we are using another node group called bend on x. Here, we have got a bifurcation, using two different paths. One without an axis correction and another includes this correction. They are both using one more node group, called simple bend. Within this, we have got three sections. One for creating the bend arc. 
Then we have the actual bend operation, and finally some cleanup work. In the Create Arc section, we're starting with a node group, called Calculate Arc. This in turn has a Get Arc Angle node group, with this node set up. It gives us the details of the bending arc in the output. With that, an arc is created for the bending, and the actual bend operation happens here. It makes use of another node group called Bend Elements. This is the main node setup for the actual bending. And finally, it is going to a cleanup operation. This section has got a Rectify Position node group, which contains this node setup. And here, we also have a Get Rotation node group, with all these elementary nodes for the cleanup work. You can pause the video wherever required, and replicate these same node groups into your system. That's the best option, but in case you need it in a ready-to-use form, you can either download it from the link given below, or join our channel. All the original blend files are available for our members, so you get this ready to use. And you'll get all our future products as well. We can use this node easily for bending other type of objects as well, like this text field, which we also created through GeoNodes. So that's all for today. I hope you like our presentation. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and join our channel.